Positive number ones, there are such a thing. This is Bryce Savage. He is an ISTP number one audio. He's the same type as Tom Tom, and he kind of talks like Tom Tom, and you'll see little Tom Tom isms where he goes like, does a little upward inflection. And then we all have flex, we all have identity, we all have drive. So you go on SoundCloud or you go on YouTube. It's really good, like motivational music. For myself, I also do it when uh, I'm having a, a down state. Let me talk about that real quick. So kind of all roads lead back to Tony Robbins. Like our human body is built for survival, right? We're built for survival. We got these, these reactions, you got these functions. Your body is not built to make you happy. That is something that you are responsible for. You are responsible for your morning routine. You gotta get up and get yourself moving. Your body is not gonna default be happy. Now, if that ever happened to you in college or high school where you got up and you were happy, that was fucking fake, that was rare, that was just that one time. Okay, you got another 80 years to live. Most of the days you get up, you're not gonna automatically be happy. You gotta work for that. You gotta fight for that. So you have to have your morning routine, your jumpstart routine to get your chemicals going, to get your body moving, and it really helps a lot. Use your observer brain to think about it. I just got to work with this machine. It's not personal. There's not, they don't really have some problems. Maybe you do. You can deal with those. But it's it's a state you got to get into. Now, your morning routine, you might have to do it. I got to do it, I'd say, twice a day. So Bryce's music is something that I have found at this point in time. I'm not saying this is forever. For me, I am responsible to get Dave Powers moving, even, when, even though when he's like, oh, I don't want to do it. So I use Bryce's music as part of my wake-up routine, my motivation routine, my change my state routine. I'd say his music was one of the things that we use to kind of uncover the social code, right? The social types and stuff. Because we're watching Tom Tom. Tom Tom was just the nicest kind of kickback guy in the world. He's where he's sitting back and he's listening. He's got the number two energy where it's like he's doing a lot of work, but not right now. He's just kind of listening. He's just kind of being friends. He's getting to know everybody. And, and you're kind of like... Does this guy work more? He says he works a lot, but I don't see him work a lot. Where Bryce, you're like, he's working. He's just always working. He's going to the top and he's got more of an aggressive. And we saw that with uh, Tom Tom versus David Bayer. We're like, what's the difference between Tom Tom and David Bayer? Why is David De Bayer the same time as a type as Tom Tom, yet David Bayer is kind of above Tom Tom? Kind of, is it just because he's older? Is it just because he went through more, right? And now we're like, ooh, I think David Bayer is probably a number one. Tom Tom, we know, is a number two because he's kind of our baseline because we got to know him really, really well. You know what I mean? Let's just go ahead and take a look at his type here. So you got the uh, masculine consume at the top. So it's a very aggressive type to begin with. You know, an ISTP, sleep blast, he's a DI extrovert. So it's a rampage of a type. You know what I mean? So if this type is a number one, this is Conor McGregor, he's double masculine. It's kind of consistent. It's kind of like there's already a lot of like ego and flex and beat everybody because it's a competitive type with the SE. I'm better than you with a TI at the top, right? And then you charge that with a number one and things kind of work out. So a lot of these guys... They do have the firepower to back up the big ego. You know what I mean? All right, let me play you a couple of clips of the guy. He's going to be a lot nicer than you expect. He's just a super sweetheart of a guy. And then you listen to his music, and you're like, there's that cat energy killer side. So let me just play a couple of clips. One thing that I saw with him is that as a number one is he's going, hey, pay attention to the tribe. Look at other people's points of view. Look at other stories so you can kind of see where you are in the story and that it's kind of normal. The through line I've seen from every great entrepreneur that I've met is that they're incredibly persistent. Not that they're brilliant, not that they're an engineer and can invent things, maybe even like Shark Tank people. These people are incredibly persistent. Like I said, they're not the brightest, smartest, most Hello, talented. They just don't stop it's relentless it's 20 30 40 years if they need to like they're the type of people that will not quit they won't stop you say no they keep going right like you know oh, i don't want your product it's like okay i'll call you next week you know they're persistent people it motivates and inspires me because i know i'm not the smartest i know i'm not the most talented i know i'm not i don't have the best this the best that if i just keep going if i just keep working if i just keep trying it's gonna happen and that's exactly how i feel today and how i felt my whole life and i've had situations that don't necessarily work out it happens but i never lose that mentality of persistence drive just keep going keep digging <laughs> Yeah, I bet you fucking don't, right? He's just describing the flex. Persistence, drive, keep going. So what he's talking about is like his flex. He can see that. He's like, yeah, I've had this my whole fucking life. This is where we got the social types from. We're like listening to these stories and I'm going like, I'm like, no, that was your upbringing. That was your mommy. No, that's your TI. No, that's your masculinity. I'm like, okay, I give up. Like, like people are just saying this intensely. They're saying, I had this my whole fucking life. This drive and this intensity. Also, what I saw about him as well is he's top. I like how he describes the through line. I might even steal that phrase. That's describing his NI. The through line is like, as I've watched the tribe, FE, the through line, the common pattern is that they're all persistent. So that's really good that the guy is not afraid to get down into his demons. He's not just talking about himself. Now, in his music, he is. But in his normal life, when he's trying to help others, he's, he's willing to go all the way down to his demons, get in a more feminine state. You know, there's that image of the guy, two guys who are digging in a tunnel. And right here, it's like right on this side is a bunch of gold. 
And this guy, he's dug all this way and he goes, all right, I give up, I'm over it. And this guy's like right here and he's still digging. So you never know when you're gonna hit it. And like I said, someone can work 40 years and they're waiting, they're waiting like a JK Rowling, like um, Harry Potter. And it's like in your early forties, all this, it's like, she's been a creative person her whole life. She's been a creative writer her whole life, but she hits it in her early forties finally gets a book and it ends up being like one of the most famous book series of all time turns into movies video games rides it's like that's fucking insane that is the through line for every great successful entrepreneur person in my opinion obviously there's outliers but probably 90 95 percent of people who are successful and who have money who have wealth who have accumulated that stuff they're persistent as hell they do not stop they keep going they don't give up so one thing that i see with the number ones as well as the oes let me jump back over here is uh, that the the lack of the OI? You know what I mean. Well, my buddy Michael here is this same type, but ISFP, right? <laughs> and he's I mean, number two, so he's not quite as intense with the ego thing. But uh, the uh, uh, having a introverted function as a demon, so it's like the the OI is not not a gate. So it's like, when am I going to hit it? I'm going to just keep going. Uh, when do I get the gold? When do I get the breakthrough? It's like, oh yeah, with the OE savior, like you don't know what's coming next. You don't you don't see necessarily the timeline. And now he's seeing the timeline through the tribe, so he's kind of like watching the documentaries. And so he can see the timeline in their life, go looking backwards at the biography and the sensor. But like for him, looking or this type, the the, the, uh, the savior OE, I'll just I'll just say in general, looking forward, like they can't really see their next ten years. You know what I mean? I know that's kind of weird for me because I have like OI at the fucking top. So it's like, wait, people are not filtering everything in their life through a timeline. And I just realized like that's what I'm doing twenty four seven. Like if you're like, hey, lunch tomorrow. Like I just I just I just line it up in my timeline. I have like this running timeline and it's feminine. And it's abstract and it's kind of blurry and I forget a lot, but it's still like, like I have my timeline. Like I know it's coming next month, next year, etc. To some degree, not saying it does, but like I have a place for it. But like the LOE is like, you never know, you never know, you never know, you never know. I'm like, what are you, what are you talking about? What do you mean you never know, you know? All right, real quick, I wanted to show you this. This is something that really hit me a lot. This is something I was processing for a couple of weeks is uh, I was really inspired by his workflow. Like uh, I will take work a little bit too serious. So I'm gonna work on my shows or work on my projects. And, and, I, and I see that I'm, I'm not as bad as most people. They will info dom the hell out of something. And I just use it as a phrase of like, they will overdo it, overcomplicate it, and never get it fucking done, never get started, blast last, consume last, just fucking make a mess out of, uh, I can't get it done and I overcomplicated and I fucked up and I quit, right? And I've learned like, just go faster, just blast play. And then I see somebody like him and I'm like, this guy is doing way more than me at a far higher quality and not even breaking a sweat. And then, so, for example, like I think I look at his, uh, his songs, like I think he's done like 192 songs or whatever. And, I, and he's been doing this for a couple of years, as long as I can remember the past few years. It's like, all I know is every every Wednesday morning, the guy comes out with a new song. And I'm, I'm just, which is great because I listen to his music and it just, it's always shuffling down. So every week, every Wednesday morning, he puts up a new song. Out of all the other stuff he's doing in his life. He's somehow able to create a brand new song every Wednesday. And you can see like some of the words, he kind of cuts corners. You're like, okay, that was a kind of a lazy rhyme. He's like, hey, I got I to gotta ship it out. I made this the fucking night before. What do you want from me? And how easy he makes stuff. How easy he goes through the creative process. It lands on, I got to make a song out of it. <laughs> okay, so I'm working with uh, It's Every Day Bro by Jake Paul. So first things first, I extracted both the instrumental and the acapella. I have no idea how this is gonna go. No idea. This is having fun. I took this sample and I pitched it down so it's trying to make something a little bit different from the original. And I also took these vocals and so that's what we got. Okay, so I knew I wanted to find a sick 808, and this is what I ended up getting. And then I wanted to make another cool noise in the background, so I was thinking something like kind of building on it. Okay, so the beat's getting heavier. We're getting there. I think we need some drums in here. <laughs> oh, that would be sick. Oh, I wish I had Rick Ross in the studio. Uh, let's see what we can get. Oh. Rick Ross. Oh. I use it as cell phone. Oh. <laughs> that one sucks. <laughs> I want it to be like, oh, I want it to have a pitch. Right. I'm gonna spend like 45 minutes just doing this. this 45 minutes just doing this. Sound you really want really bad and you get obsessed with it. That shit's heavy. So now I'm doing automation. Go look it up. It's dope. Yeah. It's all just little stuff. A lot of hip hop is just like, there's not little a ton stuff. of elements going on usually. So it's all about the ones that you do use. They gotta be dope. Is that everything? I don't know. Should I just like go write some I don't know. lyrics to this to make it a full song? Yeah, I'm gonna write lyrics now. 
Let's do oh, it. I'm not gonna go write lyrics now. Like, oh, that's fucking easy, right? Look how fast he just layers it in, just throws it in. Like, like for me, I'm like, how do I get this microphone wired up? Wait, you have an electronic piano? How did you get that? So he's not afraid of the things. He gets all the things figured out. That's why the ISTPs are the best goddamn time. Try and beat this guy. Like, really, try and beat this guy. He gets it all figured out, and then just stacks on it. And a lot of it, too, is like, he's also not afraid to work at half throttle. Like, of course he can do way better. But if he took six months... Like, he can catch himself. He's like, I want to spend more than 45 minutes chasing down the huh sound, right? And that's what I see. So, just so many people, I see that when I work with them or whatever. They're like, oh, I got to get this thing just right. And they'll spend three days getting that one little thing. That one little thing to a giant project with 50 moving parts. And they're going to die in that one little thing. And then not be able to get the whole project done. Nope. He sees it. He knows it. He pushes himself through it. All right, let's go. I just finished it up. I think the beat's pretty fucking dope. I cannot believe I was able to make a song with It's Every Day, Bro. But here it goes nothing. It's every day, bro. 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 Take off, I'm an Elon Musk, yeah. turn it up, blowing up this function I'm a lead, I don't follow instructions, MC, her and D can't touch this She got only fans, can't trust it, just playing, don't get so upset Get bread, got knees, go crush it, everybody do your thing, no judgment I take a beat and I flip it to see if I got what it takes, if I got a degree And making a hit, and making a dream, I keep with the flow, beat it up, it's pain, oh I got the rhythm, the gift it was given, I take a new victim, they perk up and listen I got a new vision, becoming the villain, the blood it be spilling, oh it's every day, bro, with the Disney Channel I won't stop, I'm here to get what I want I'm not lost, I'm here to make it to the top I'll take a shot, I'll overpower any boss Cause I am not Let's go. that you would want to cross I move quietly, like a shadow, there's a dark side to me I work privately, to go build and create my own dynasty A new rivalry, it emerges ever so silently but I got fight in me, so I squash anything that's trying me I'm like, me versus you, I hope that you know what you're getting into I got nothing to lose, so you better watch out, can't predict my moves I'll make you irrelevant, I don't stop till I'm at the top settling I live here like a local resident, and you know I ain't selling it I won't stop, I'm here to get what I want I'm not lost, I'm here to make it to the top I'll take a shot, I'll overpower any boss Cause I am not Someone that you would wanna cry